is Jess from Camera By Our Side. I'm here with Stan Atlantic. Now I have to say congratulations. You have a lot to celebrate right now. Yes. You got signed to Hopeless. Mm -hmm. You have an album coming out next month. Yep. So can you walk us through what the day was like or what the moment was like when you found out you got signed to Hopeless? Was it over a phone call, a conference? Uh, it was multiple phone calls uh, and emails. But it's funny because when we actually signed the papers, we have a local local legend back home <laughs> called Shannon Knoll. And uh, <laughs> we like jam his stuff all the time. And when we actually signed the paper oh, yeah, to um, Hopeless, we uh, heard him like practicing in the practice room next to us. And we were just like, this is the greatest <laughs> moment of our lives. <laughs> so yeah, um, it was cool. The process was kind of long, but like, yeah, we we're really so happy that like they came on board and we got to we get to work with them now. So yeah, it's very cool. How did you guys celebrate? Did you guys do anything special as, as a band or with your families? I wish I could say yes, because we should have. But right, the yeah. Nolsey thing was like too big. We were just like, that's sick. We didn't but really we didn't do anything, did we? We like, I'm yeah, pretty sure we had like a dinner it. with like our families and stuff, like just kind of low key. But like inside, we were just like, this is so sick. Like yeah. we're so happy. So yeah. <laughs> now, how did your families react to you guys getting signed? Because you guys have been a band for a little while. So this wasn't really anything new, but getting signed to a record label and be able to come to the US, how do they react to all of that? Uh, my mom overreacts to literally everything, so oh, she, God. like, I don't think she could breathe for, like, three days, so that was my experience. <laughs> yeah, my parents were pretty stoked. Really um, talk into them. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, no, my parents were pretty stoked. Um, they'd sort of known that we'd been working towards it for ages, and I had to sort of explain to them, like, what hopeless were and, you know, like, the relevance of it and all that sort of stuff. But once they got that, they were pretty stoked with it, and... You know, we'd sort of been, like Bond said, like we'd been in torts for a bit, so when it finally was pen to paper, um, they kind of had a good grasp of it all by then. They're happy. Yeah, they were stoked. <laughs> now, did you guys have to keep that secret for a while, like between announcements, yeah. and how was that? Did you did you tell certain people and tell them not to say anything, or how did that go? Uh like yeah it's so hard to keep it a secret because like you just want to tell everyone and like people will ask you questions about like maybe like our past label or whatever or like how we're releasing the next thing or whatever and you're just like mm, well like mm, yes i just kind of skip over that question um but yeah no nah, it's it's so hard to keep something like that a secret but we managed to do it pretty well like we told our family and stuff like that obviously and like obviously really close friends that aren't really in like the scene or anything but um, but yeah, it's the hardest thing to keep secret. <laughs> yeah. And now you guys have your album coming out next month in October, Skinny Dipping. Yeah. So how is that different from your EPs that you've released? Did you do anything different? I know you guys kind of stayed with the same kind of sound, but wanted to make it more like louder and more like, uh, I guess like eye catching, ear catching. Um, how did it go for you guys? Uh, I think we, we all wanted to make sure we kind of captured the same like thing or like the, the, general like vibe of like the EP but just kind of like extend on it kind of thing um, and just kind of show people more of like what we're about and what we do and at the end of the day like we just aim to like write good songs in like a style that we enjoy playing um, and we always try to kind of go against the grain in some kind of way like we don't want to just be like a pop punk band that like sings about leaving their hometown like that kind of thing I'll never ever <laughs> ever say those lines ever in my life um, but yeah, so, I don't know, it was very different doing an album too, it's like obviously a longer process um, and there's a lot of pressure and yeah. yeah, we just wanted to make sure we like pushed ourselves out of our comfort zone and made a record that we were very happy with, which I think we did. I think we're happy with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Skinny Dipping is the title and that's a song on the album. Yes. So how did you guys choose that as the title? What made you guys want to have that be your album title? Um, the title kind of came before all the songs were written because like I'd written a couple and I was like oh these kind of have like this kind of similar theme um, and I was just tossing around ideas and I was like skinny dipping I was like kind of weird but whatever I'll just put that in my back pocket kind of thing and then uh, once the rest of the album was written I like put the idea forward to the guys and like explained the whole like concept behind it um, and it was still relating to like all the other songs that we had as well and and then we just kind of decided that it was like the best fit I think and like is kind of just an extra kind of layer to the rest of the album and um, originally the the title for skinny dipping like the track was called skinny jeans and then we were like we should probably call it like skinny dipping because like yeah I don't know you'll hear it when you hear the song you'll understand that but yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah that's kind of just how it came about but yeah 
And the accompanying album, album art for Skinny Dipping is beautiful. And how did you guys come up with that? Did you did you one of you guys design it? Do you have someone else design it? Someone else designed it, but we kind of all got together and thought of like the initial concept. Um, and as I said before, like with everything we do, we kind of try and do something a little bit different to what everyone else is kind of doing. And um, we found this artist who does like photographs, but then also like she's kind of like mixed media so like she'll like do watercolor and or just like paint like over these photographs and turn it into something like completely different so we were just like yeah that's who we want to do it and um yeah she killed it so yeah yeah, that's awesome. yeah thank you now, you guys are very very far from home right now yes. is this your first time in the u.s i know it's the first time touring as a band in the u.s but have you had you guys been here before with your families at all or is this like for real your first time um jono and i have been before like with our families or whatever i think I came when I was once when I was like 15 so I could do nothing here <laughs> um, I went to Vegas as well which was like so silly I'm that like why did I go I there. know um, and then I went like traveling for a year after school so I kind of hit some places in the US but I only really went to like Disneyland and uh, San Francisco so yeah I've been here a couple times but yeah I came here when I was like in primary school so I was really I was too young to do anything because uh, I've got family in Florida. Okay. So we went and visited them, but I was, yeah, way too young. So it's pretty much my first time gotcha. sort of doing it all. And then Potter hasn't been before, so. Potter has just joined us. He's experienced it for the first time. <laughs> yeah, and I saw you guys while you're on the road are trying to hit some spots. You're at the Breaking Bad house, the yeah, Paramore field. To. Dude, so, there's a fair. woman and a man, I think, that just sit out the front of their garage of the Breaking Bad house just telling people to fuck the off, basically. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Okay. yeah. The phone is just like... And step away yeah and we like overheard them because it was like 7 a.m or something when we went and we were like just trying to take like sneaky pics and then uh we overheard the woman just be like i don't get it it's just a dang house <laughs> like like it's not just a house god damn yeah. it uh-huh. did you guys have any other stops or any places that you're looking forward to on the rest of the tour new york city we drove past yeah. like we drove through like manhattan i think before we went through Brooklyn um, last night yeah. at like 2 a.m. in the morning, which was sick. Yeah, but obviously we didn't get out but, of the car uh, or anything. But yeah. we were just like doing looking Times out the window Square like, oh. Yeah. Definitely on it. Yeah. So um, we'll be doing that soon, I think. Yeah. And then Vegas, we really wanted to do. We've done that now. So that, <laughs> we definitely did. We actually, Vegas one. did us, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a great night, but yeah. I, I had a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, as a band, you guys have played some festivals. You've been in magazines. Yeah. What has been the most like pinch me kind of moment you've had so far while you guys have been on your run? Uh, there's been a few. Like, yeah. I think even when we signed to Rude Records on our like first EP, that was a pinch me moment. I was just like, what the frick? And then Hopeless, I was just like, oh, okay, what? And then we like toured overseas. Like, just everything we've done has just been like. Yeah. I like literally have to go back and think about like what would 16 year old me say if I went and told her that like this is what I'd be doing I think I'd punch myself in the face to be honest <laughs> think I'm lying but yeah yeah I'm, I'm pretty much the same as her yeah I think like especially doing America even with neck deep as well it's just like yeah. a pinch me moment as well just hey, hey we're Atlantic. Atlantic and we have a debut album skinny dipping coming out October 26 via hopeless records you should go pre-order it and cry Thank you. <laughs>